I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on providing solutions to SSC CGL test papers. Here is a question from the year 2000 which is based on distance, speed and time. The question here is, two trains A and B start from stations X and Y towards each other. They take 4 hours 48 minutes and 3 hours 20 minutes to reach Y and X respectively after they meet. If the train A is moving at 45 km per hour, then find the speed of train B. So let's first try to understand the scenario, right? So we have two stations here. So it's given that two trains A and B start from stations X and Y. So this is station X, that is station Y. Here is train A, we say train A, and here is train B. They are moving towards each other, right? They are moving towards each other. They take 4 hours, 48 minutes and 3 hours, 20 minutes to reach Y and X respectively after they meet. Do you understand? So that is kind of very important statement to understand. So, so the first train A takes 4 hours 48 minutes, takes more time. So let's say somewhere here they meet. Correct? Now after this time, time taken by A is 4 hours 48 minutes. Means 4 hours times 48 over 60, right? Let's write like this. We will simplify later. And 3 hours 20 minutes for the other train, right? So this is to reach Y, that is to reach X. So this time here is 3 hours 20 minutes, means 20 over 60 hours, clear? Now when they meet at this point, let's call this point as M, they meet at M, both have traveled for the same time. Time is T for both the trains. Is that clear to you? Perfect. So this will really help us to understand the situation and then derive a particular formula which we are going to use in many such questions as a shortcut method, right? So from here, what you notice is that in time T, the first train A travels up to M right and the same distance is traveled by the train b in a given time 320 over 60 is that clear to you so so what we can do here is we can write down a general formula we are saying that the speed b s for this particular train right so in that case during this period of time let's work on this period of time now So, if the speed of A is SA, let us say, right? Speed is SA and T is the time. Then the distance is from X to M, right? This distance. Now, same distance is also traveled by the other train whose speed is B, right? SB. But we are given the time here. So we can say that this time is, let's call this for example TB. So we'll come up with a formula first, use the formula later to find a shortcut method. Right? So let's say time taken is TB, so we're just writing, we'll introduce the values later. Now on this side, you, what you notice is the train A, which is moving with the speed SA, takes the time TA and that should be equal to because that's the same distance speed of train B in time T does it make sense to you correct okay. this distance is same as speed into time speed into time for both the trains so like this we get two equations let's call this as our equation one and this is our equation number two. 
Now from these two equations, if I divide one by the other, that means speed of A times T divided by speed of B times T, what do I get? I get speed of B times B divided by speed of A times A. Now in this particular expression, this common time which they had taken to meet cancels. So we have an equation which relates speed with rest of the time which they complete the journey after meeting, right? So now we can cross multiply and when we cross multiply we get speed a square over bringing it here speed of b square is equal to time of b over time of a. Do you see that? So this is a huge formula. This formula tells you that there is a relation between speed of these two trains and the time which they take after meeting to reach the destination. So we could actually write this formula in different ways. We could also write this as speed of A over speed of B equals to square root of time taken by B over time taken by A. Does make sense to you? So both are kind of same formulas. So you can make a note of these formulas which can be used in solving such questions. Perfect. Now. Let's get back to our situation. What are we given? Two trains A and B start from station X and Y towards each other. They take 4 hours 48 minutes, right? So TA is given to us as 4 hours 48 over 60, right? Which can be simplified and written as 4 hours. Dividing both by 12, we get 4 over 5. So that is time taken by train A. And for B, rest of the journey is completed in 3 hours, 20 minutes, 20 over 60, right, hours. So 3 hours, 1 over 3, perfect. Now those are the times. Well, you could also write them as 4 times 5, 24. We could write this as 24 over 5 and this as 10 over 3. Is that okay? So this time is in hours. Now we are also given that if the train A is moving at 45 kilometers, that means speed of A is 45 kilometers per hour, find speed of B. That is what we need to find. So direct application of our formula, right? So if you remember the formula, then straight away, Substitute in the formula, we get 45 over, we want to find speed of the other train equals to time for B is 10 over 3, right, 10 over 3 divided by 24 over 5. You can simplify this, right, we can write 10 over 3 times 5 over 24 square root, correct, which Dividing by 2 will give us 5 here and 12 there, correct? So we get 5 over 6, right? This is 36, 5 over 6. So from here, cross multiply. So we get 45 times 6 over 5 is equal to speed of the other train. So that gives you 9 times 6 as 54. Is that clear to you, right? So that goes 9 times, 9 times 6, 54 kilometers per hour. Is that clear to you? So it's very important to understand how did we derive this formula? The idea is this distance is being traveled by both the trains. Train A takes T time, which is common, and train B takes 3 hours, 3, 1 over 3 hours. Since the distance is same, we equated and got first equation. Same logic for the second part. Dividing one by the other, we got rid of this time, t, which was common, 
and we got a relation between the speeds of the train and time taken to cover rest of the journey. So whenever you have something like this, use the formula and get the answer at the earliest. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write a comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.